All right. Now we're going to get the mean of an array. This is by Azarius B, and 92% of the people like it. It's the academic year's end fateful moment of your school report. The averages must be calculated. All the students come to you and entreat you to calculate their average for them. Easy. You just need to write a script. Return the average of the given array rounded down to its nearest integer. The array will never be empty. All right. That sounds like a way to make friends, I guess. Uh, so what we're going to do here is we have to sum the array. And then we're going to have to divide it by the length of the array, right? So to sum the array, we're going to use this array.prototype.reduce. And the reduce method executes as a user-supplied reducer callback function on each element of the array in order, passing in the return value from the calculation on the preceding element. The final result of running the reducer across all elements of the array is a single value. Perhaps the easiest to understand case for reduce is to return the sum of all the elements. All right, so that's what we're doing. And let me show you the syntax real quick. Uh, the syntax is previous value, current value, and sometimes the current index, and sometimes the uh, initial value also after the, uh, after the fact. Anyway, we're not going to have to do any of that stuff. We're just going to say marks.reduce, and then we're going to say prev, prev for previous, and cur for current, and that's for the elements, I mean, previous element and current element, and then uh, arrow function, and we're going to say prev plus cur. And then that's just, that's going to give us the sum right there. Let me show you. Test it. See? It gives us the sum. 2, 2, 2, 2, And now we've got to divide it by marks.length. Test it again. Up. Oh, we still got a problem here. What is it? We have to round it down to its nearest integer. So that's when we're going to use this math.floor. Let me wrap this up real quick. Math.floor function returns the largest integer less than or equal to the given number. All right. So we're going to say math.floor. Let's test it out one more time. Perfect. Awesome. And so very like it go to my solutions just me best practice and we'll see you next time